With Team Photo Composite, it's very easy to create a composite in no time. I'll show you how. At the main menu, select File New Composite, select the folder where you want to save the composite and give it a name. Click at Save and a new window will appear where you have to input the dimensions of the composite or just drag a background with the uh, correct dimensions into this rectangle. If you have selected Apply Background Size to Composite, the composite will inherit the dimensions of the background. After closing this window, you have the background at the main design area. Ready? Now you have to add players. There are several ways to do this. You may drag them into the, the top part of the design area, use the Edit option in the menu, or import from a CSV file like the ones created by Godphoto. At the Edit menu, select Add Players from File and then select the CSV file, which should have at least two columns, one for the group and one for the file name. If the names of these columns are not group and file name, you may assign different columns, uh, column names to them. But you need at least these two columns, group and file name. Once you have assigned the column names, the groups are imported into the application and shown at the Edit Groups in File option. Here you can see a list of the groups. Select one of the groups and the players belonging to this group will be imported into the composite. Once imported, the composite will create a preliminary design using the last composite made for the same number of players. The position and size and as well the feed mask is imported from the previous uh, composite like a template. Now you only have to swap some positions by selecting one of the players, click at the uh, crossed arrow, and at the other player click at the second icon, uh, the swap icon. This swaps both uh, player positions. As you can see it's very easy and fast to swap the players in the design. At the right panel you will find controls to set the margin, the sides margin left and right for the players in the composite and the bottom margin. Use the sliders or the small arrows. You may also, also change the size of all players together with the control at the right. And at the icons uh, which appear uh, hovering the players, you may change the Z order, the order in which they appear in front of other players. You have four controls for this Z order. You may set uh, the change them one by one or uh, just in front or completely at back. Also, if needed, you may select one of the players with a crossed arrow and uh, change the position. As you can see, a blue line appears at bottom of the players when you move them, when you drag the player in different position to help you align them. The new composite inherits the feet mask from the previously made composite, but you may easily change it by selecting all players in the row, it's at the right uh, row control, and then clicking at the top icon for the mask. Using the sliders, it's very easy to change the feet mask for all players at once. Now we are going to add some creative content to the composite, clip arts. The first clipper we are going to add is a smoke, smoke clipper for the bottom. Drag it into the bottom right part of the design area and it will be added to the composite. Once there, select it, you may do so at the right panel, at the layers list, and drag it uh, from the crossword arrow into the position you want. You may easily resize a clipper by dragging from the yellow uh, sides, the yellow bars that appear moving the mouse. Here we are going to make it a bit higher to hide player feet. Now we are going to add a new clip art, the logo of the team, by dragging it also into the right bottom part of the design area. Then we drag it into the new position and by dragging from the corner it will resize keeping aspect ratio. You may drag from the sides, which uh, will change the aspect ratio, or from the corner, keeping it. 
And finally, we are going to add the year to the composite by dragging it to the same place. Then we will position it at the top center of the composite. The last step is to save our job, file save, and export it into a JPG file. We have to give it a name, and usually it's the same than the, than the data file, and it will be exported into this format using call, uh, sRGB color management. After a few seconds, the file will be ready in the place we have selected. This is the JPG file from our composite using sRGB color management. As you have seen, it's very easy to create a composite with Team Photo Composite using an external CSV file with player details.